Hi, my name is Alicia, and I wanted to just take a minute to thank you for reaching out to me and considering me to be your wedding photographer. It is such an honor. Every time I get an inquiry, whether a couple chooses to go with me or someone else, um, even to be considered for someone's wedding. So thank you so much. I'm super excited to begin this process with you. Um, I wanted to just tell you a little bit about what you can expect working with me and some things that I offer so that um, when it comes time for us to chat, you'll have an idea what that might look like. First of all, um, I will be sending you an investment guide a little bit after you're done watching this video. So just watch this all the way through and then watch your email later today and you should be getting that from me shortly or within the next day. Um, secondly, I wanna tell you about what's gonna happen after that. There'll be an opportunity for you to ask some questions and we can always book a consult if you choose. I would say about one half to a third of my couples choose to have a consult either on the phone or via Zoom. Um, that is totally up to you and your comfort level. Some people just prefer to hear my voice or see my face in person more than just on video before they choose to book. And I totally respect that. So that's up to you. Um, in the email that I'm going to send you in a little while, there's also going to be some get to know you questions so that we can make sure that we're a good fit for each other. So you can choose how many of those you wanna answer, some of them, all of them. They just help me see if we are um, gonna mesh well or not. Um, the next thing that I want you to know about is your engagement session. Um, sometimes people ask, you know, do you have to have an engagement session? No, not really, but I do recommend that my couples have an engagement session. It's complimentary with the wedding package, so if you choose to not have it, it doesn't um, make a difference in the wedding package itself. However, having the engagement session um, basically is like a practice session for your wedding day. So when you have that engagement session, it gives us a chance to get to know each other a little bit more than this. It gives you a chance to um, loosen up a little bit in front of the cameras. It's probably pretty likely that you've never had professional portraits done, just the two of you before. So you'll kind of experience what that's like. And then I'll also be able to see um, what some pose, what poses would work really well for the two of you because every couple is a little bit different. And then speaking of posing, um, I wanna talk a little bit about what that works when you work, what that looks like when you work with me. Um, I do pose my couples, but my goal is that some of the pictures look a little bit more posed than other pictures. Um, what I mean is, Sometimes I call them the grandma pictures because that's the ones that grandma requests. Sometimes I'll make sure that, not sometimes, all the time I make sure that I get pictures of the couple looking at the camera, but that's not always um, the pictures that I focus on the whole time. My goal is to have a lot of pictures of you two um, interacting truly how you are as a couple. I usually will give prompts and cues to help you interact in a natural way in front of the camera instead of just saying, okay, go. Act like yourselves when I'm pointing the camera at you because I know that that's not realistic. So I will give you um, things to do that will make it look like I'm capturing candid moments. It's kind of the best of both worlds. Um, and then one of my goals as well is to help you plan um, a stress-free, the whole experience to be a stress-free wedding planning thing. So all of my couples get my wedding planning book that includes a timeline or a sample timeline that you can help write your timeline from because I know that that is one of the most stressful parts um, of wedding planning and it talks about how much time to budget for each part of your day from family portraits to getting ready to the details that I do to first dances, what your exit might look like, all of the things. And that's just two pages in this book. It's super valuable information that all of my couples get when they finish their booking process. Um, also, my wedding packages include not this, I don't use this anymore. Um, they come in a prettier box now. Um, my wedding packages include a $300 album credit. And I want to explain why I think that's so valuable. Um, you're not required to purchase an album, but I do give you that credit so that you have um, a little bit more freedom, I guess, after your wedding to be able to purchase like an album of your dreams. Because yeah, the digital pictures are nice. You get to share them on social media. You can save them on your computer and backup hard drive and all the things. I love digital pictures too, but there's something special about having an heirloom album just sitting out on your coffee table forever. Um, and it really is forever. This 
is a leather bound album. I also have linen albums. I just want to show you what the pages are like in this leather album because they're phenomenal. Um, these are some of my older pictures, but the quality of the albums that I order stays the same. So if you can see, I'm like pushing down on these pages pretty hard. Nothing <laughs> like they're solid. Oops, it thinks I gave the thumbs up. Okay, um, so these pages, you, they're very thick. Um, and that really helps them ensure that they're lasting a really long time. But the goal of the album is so that you can have that heirloom that lasts you a lifetime and be able to keep your images out for everybody to see and for you guys to see all the time when you're just sitting around or having people over instead of sitting on your hard drive collecting digital dust. Um, the leather and linen albums come in a whole bunch of variety of colors. There's um, You could get your wedding in your album color, your album in your wedding color. You could get a neutral color so it goes with your house no matter where you put it. So many options. Um, they're beautiful. I love these. Um, I can also bring that to an engagement session too if you ever want to take a closer look at some of them. Oh, they just feel so nice. Like, look at how sturdy that thing is. Nothing. It's so good. Okay, so that is a little bit of information about me. Before I'm done, I just want to address some um, frequently asked questions that I usually get from couples. Um, so I give you some credits for these products. I give you a $100 credit to purchase any products that you want from your gallery, which tends to lead people to ask, um, do you still have rights to order where you want? Sure, you do. Um, I will suggest places, but the pictures are yours. You will get the digital images, um, and with that, you'll get a print release, so you can choose where you order them from. Um, some places are better than others, and like I said, I'll give you suggestions on what are good places or not as good places when that time comes but I'm not going to control where you order them from. That's totally your choice. Um, another question that I get all the time is how many images should I expect to receive? Great question. That can vary a lot. I tend to say that I deliver about 50 to 100 images per hour of shooting. So if you have an eight hour wedding package, which most of my couples book, um, you would get somewhere between 400 to 800 pictures. Um, that can be a little bit more. Um, if it's on the higher end, if you have a really big bridal party or tons and tons of details, um, or if you have a lot of family pictures, it ends up being a little bit more on the higher end. It's on the lower end for couples that don't have a bridal party or just have an invite for their details or don't have as much decor up, then it can be closer to that 400 number. But either way, my images always fall in that price range, not price range, sorry, my always fall in that number range or even just a little bit higher depending on the timeline and the details of the day. Um, and then another common question I get is turnover time. My contract says six to eight weeks. I typically deliver um, within that time or just a little bit before. I also make sure that my couples get a sneak peek, especially if I'm pushing toward that six week time because I want you to see your wedding images way sooner than that. My lips are not lining up with my voice in this, and I really hope that's not the case for you because it's super annoying. <laughs> okay, anyway, with that said, there's a little piece of me, a little ADD sometimes, but that's life. Um, with that said, look for that investment email and please reply to it with any questions that you have. I'm so looking forward to hearing more about you and your wedding day. Bye.